The 96th Academy Awards are almost upon us. Here's our guide to tuning in at home on Sunday and who we reckon will win the top prizes. You run up to this year's Oscars has been smoother than in. Recent years? No major turmoil to report other than the snub for Barbie. 2023 Feet's biggest hit arrives with eight nominations. But Greta Gerwig was passed over entirely in the directing category. This is a democracy, and the votes don't just go with money. No one is getting in a huff about the Super Mario Bros. movie, last year's number two, not coming to the big show, the Oscars are fully aware that the bigger the movies they reward, the better the audience figures are for the TV broadcast, their main money spinner. So they plan to rinse Barbie for everything they can. They will be giving 65 Kens to Frug alongside Ryan Gosling as he warbles I'm Just Ken, nominated for Best Song, while Billie Eilish also nominated. A much more likely winner will sing her hit song What Was I Made For. Another element of Oscar news is the nudge to the start time. The ceremony is getting underway an hour earlier and is aiming for a snappy three and a half hour running time. Host Jimmy Kimmel, the universally acknowledged safe pair of hands, will have to do a lot of shooing, but unless they give the playoff orchestra leader an electric cattle prod, the chances of keeping things that trim are slim to buckies. What? Not many people are talking about, though, is the likelihood of significant political protest. Given the activity at the Grammys, the Independent Spirit Awards and elsewhere, security around the venue has been beefed up, but the Oscars have said they won't interfere with winner's speeches. Though, unless Mark Ruffalo manages to get past Robert Downey Jr. for Best Supporting Actor, it's hard to see where an incendiary Vanessa Redgrave-type speech is going to come from. James Wilson, producer of The Zone of Interest, has a bit of form in the area, though.